Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at a photo we took at the Valley of Fire uh, with this young lady. We get a lot of questions on the adjustment brushes in Lightroom and a lot of people don't even know that they're there and they can use them without having to switch back between all the different softwares. So what we're going to take a look at is some simple adjustments to bring your model um, to the forefront of your, of your picture, kind of separating the background a little bit. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to use some adjustment brushes to go in and clean up this image. Uh, this young lady is a very, very nice, beautiful young lady that we shot in the Valley of Fire. So we're going to just do some quick editing, show you how to do it to your photos. That way you can, you can turn the process over a lot faster um, without having to go through multiple different softwares. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to use uh, Color Effects Pro, which is a Nike software. To do the final skin softening of the image. You can also do it in Lightroom, but this is a plug-in for Lightroom that works wonders. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take this picture and do some quick editing so you can see it. Um, zoom into the picture. She does have a couple sunspots that we're going to remove with Lightroom. And then I'm going to change the color of her eye to what her natural color of her eyes were. This young lady had beautiful blue eyes, and we'll just go through, uh, bring out the color of her eyes again before we do the final adjustments. So what you need to do is just zoom into your picture a little bit. We're going to click on uh, your adjustment brush, and under effects, we have all the different tools that you can use. You, you know, and a lot of people don't know that they're even there, but these are simple tools to use. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use the Iris Enhance. I want a brush size that is just smaller than the eye that I'm working on. And I'm going to go in here and just paint on the eye. You'll see it start to change its color a little bit, which is going to brighten it up. We'll do this with, to both eyes with one tool. And now, down here under where it says color, you have a gray box that says no color effect. But if you click on the box, now you bring up the panel which has a color selector. I'm just going to pick a blue and then, and then close it. Now I'll hit done. And now you can see the color of her eyes. This young lady had the most beautiful blue eyes uh, with the, the backgrounds that we were shooting on in the Valley of Fire, which is a very reddish orange background. So now I'm going to go through and just remove some of the spots that she has. Just just for their sunspots. So what do you do now is we click on the spot removal tool. We can go in. Now we want a, a brush that is just a little bit larger than the area we're trying to remove. If you just click on it one time, Lightroom will search the area to find something that is very similar to what you're trying to remove. Almost like a clone stamp does. So we're just going to go through here really quick, clicking on a couple of these spots. We'll hit done and you'll see Lightroom does a very good job of removing those spots for us you don't have to go through and do a lot of extra work like you would um, in some of the other software that you use so we have a couple more we're going to do one right here on her cheek and then one right here by her hairline and then we'll hit done so we'll remove those you know, let Lightroom pick the area. Now you can see that the only one that we really have left is this little one right here. Um, if you want to remove that one, you can. Uh, same thing, we'll just go back, we'll pick a smaller brush. This one, we're in the area that we're working in, we may have to do just a little bit of skin softening, but it'll be okay. So, once Lightroom renders the image, you see, you almost can't see that the, there's any defect in your image whatsoever. So now, last thing I'm going to do here for this young lady is I'm going to go back to my adjustment brush, and I'm going to click on teeth whitening. Her, her mouth is not open very much, but we're just going to brighten up her teeth just a little bit. And it's very simple. You'll see that you change the color of her, the white of her, her teeth just a little bit. And she's picking up the reflection of the background, which is actually... There's a, there's a sidewall right next to us, so she's picking up some of that color. So 
basically that's all the adjustments I have to do with the adjustment brushes to bring out the color of her eyes, widen up her teeth a little bit to get the reflection from, or using a reflector as well, uh, you know, to bring it back up and remove just some quick blemishes on her skin. So now I would go through and make some adjustments to bring her out of the picture and move the background back a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to step through these really quickly. The exposure, I'm going to raise this about a half a stop, which will brighten the in image up a little bit. I'm going to leave the contrast the same. Um, highlight shadows, whites leave the same, but the darks, I like a little bit of darker image, so bring out her eyes a little bit. So I'm going to go minus 15. Clarity, I like a little bit of clarity in the image. I'm going to raise this to 10. Vibrance and saturation, um, this is a touchy one. I'm going to go 20 on the vibrance and 10 on the saturation, which will bring out a little bit of the detail in the color of the background. We're going to darken up a little bit later in the image. Highlights, lights, darks, shadows, we're going to leave those the same. Um, reds, but there's not much red in the image, but there is some orange. So I'm going to darken up the orange just slightly. So if I go minus 20, it'll darken up the background. Still keeping her nice and clear in the image. There is a little bit of yellow in her hair. I want to brighten up her hair just a touch. So I'm going to go uh, plus 10% on that one. The greens, let's make the greens a little bit brighter in the background. There is no blues, aquas, purples, magentas, so we'll leave those the same. Um, split toning, I will skip over that part of it. Sharpening of the image, um, I will sharpen the image just a little bit, not a, not a lot, so we'll bring this up to 35. Otherwise, we're going to add a little bit of noise to the image, but this will really bring out the texture of the image. And then noise reduction. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use both color noise reduction on this image and the, norm, the normal noise reduction. So I did clean my camera before we went out to this photo shoot, so I have no dust spots I have to worry about. But I'm going to use the noise reduction luminance. I'm going to use it at 30%. 95% of the detail I want in the image. But in the color for the background, I actually want to do the same thing. I want about 30% of the luminance in that one and 95% in the the detail which will bring out some detail in my image. And the last thing that I would do here is under your lens correction I'm not going to use any of the lens correction on this one because I have no no defringe I have to worry about nothing of that nature so I'm just going to close that panel but under the the cropping here the vignetting um, I like this image if I did this at about minus 40 and I'll use the minus 40 to give me the black um, around the outside not the white which will give me the outside so this will help really bring her out of this image um, the midpoints the roundness the feathers I would just leave the same um, and then I'll go up bring my tool all the way back up to the top So for the most part, that's all we have to do for the image. Now I put, you see now the vignettes around her, darkens up the background a little bit, but really brings her out of this image. So the last thing I would do on this image for this young lady, and like I said, she was, um, we had a heck of a time with a lot of wind. We were in about 40 mile an hour wind, so we were constantly fighting wind conditions, but she was just wonderful to work with. Uh, so what we're going to do is, just smooth out her skin a little bit and as you can see on her face she does not have a lot of blemishes on her skin so what we're going to do is we're just going to do a, a real quick final um, plug-in for Lightroom to bring her her skin just make it really smooth give her that glow that you would get so what I'll do is right click on the image here and then I want to export it into color EFX Pro 4 which is the plug-in for Lightroom so what Lightroom does now is it moves the image over into the software for us so we can do the final adjustments with just basically two clicks of the image. So the first thing you get here is, is, is the dialog box asks you if you want to use it with the Lightroom adjustments. Um, of course I do. So I'll click edit and now it'll take in a minute here for it to transfer the image over. So what happens is now is 
you have all of the different settings that Color Effects Pro uses. So I'm under the wetting part of it just because this will help out really quickly with doing all of the, the skin softening. So in the right hand side over here is the last one that I used which was the Glamour Glow which really softens up her skin. So what I want to do though is I'm just going to add a filter. And the last thing I want to do is go here to the Dramatic Skin Softener. I'm just going to pick the default. I don't have to have it very strong. I don't have to do the entire image. I just want to do you know, basically the color of her skin. And what it does is over here on the right hand side I have a, a picker that I can use or Lightroom goes through and picks what it considers to be the skin tones separating her from the background. Well, it does a very very good job of this. So I'm just going to add the filter to that one and this is the final image. So all I have to do now is I can you know I can click here on a before and after a split view view you know to see what the image looks like before and after. Um, and then just hit oh save hit save and now Color Effects Pro will send this over back into Lightroom and we have our another our another image that we have side by side of the original. This is really all there is to it. You don't have to go through a lot of exporting images back and forth between you know different softwares. Most of your tools are in Lightroom. So you just have to, you know, go through each one of those and pick the right one for what you're working on. You know, either they're spot removals, um, you know, you can drag it if you want to. A lot of times, you know, if you just, you know, click on the one, just one single click, it'll pick the area that is closest to that color, which will, you know, be very close to what you're looking for. Um, you know, the, the eyes. Uh, typically, when I do a photo shoot, um, I have a note in my, my, my actually, it's in my phone under my, my app that I use. I always ask the model what color her eyes are naturally because depending on the color reflector you're using, you know, we use a silver reflector and we also use a gold reflector. So depending on the color of the re reflector that we used, we could also change their eye color. So in my notes, when I, when after I, you know, finish up with my, my photo shoot, in my notes I always ask the, the model, what color are your eyes? So it's something I have that I go back to I can pick the color of her eyes so that I have the right color. Uh, a lot of times your models will not like to have an image with green eyes, let's say, when she's got blue eyes, or vice versa. You know, if she's got you know, the pretty green eyes and you put blue eyes on her, she'll, first thing you're going to do is get a phone call. She goes, my eyes aren't that color. So a good idea to, you know, take some notes. It's very simple. I mean, I just put an app on my phone and then I can add custom fields to it and you know, I make my own notes as we go along. Um, the other thing is, is you know, you know, you weather. I mean, we had a heck of a time with weather, and this young lady was just a, a wonderful, wonderful person to work with. She never complained. You know, we had to switch times on her uh, because of the weather. We had, though, well, she showed up on time. She was ready to go. So, you know, some of the things you cannot control, but you have to. You can go through here. And still, even though the conditions weren't perfect as we thought they were the day of the shoot, we were able to get some amazing results with her. So this now has become the final image, and this was the image we sent to her. So if you zoom into the image, you know, you still have all the detail of her long hair. If we zoom into her eyes, you know, her eyes are very clear. She has the blue color of her eye. You can see the reflector right here in her eye. But you just smoothed out her skin a little bit, but she still has, you know, the texture of her skin, so she doesn't look unreal. And that's what you don't want to do. You don't want to go through and make her look as if she's not a real person. So I hope this helps. Um, like I said, if you have any questions on the brushes that we use or any of the adjustments, they're all there, you know, um, and we get a lot of questions on this. So hopefully this will answer some of those questions in general and how easy they are to use. So if you have any questions, drop us a comment, um, you know, click like if you like, if you like the video, and then, you know, I'll do another one. We have another picture of her that we did that I actually zoomed in closer just to her eyes, and we'll, we'll do another one on just having to, how to, you know, brighten up her eyes, the, the white of her eye, the color of her eye, and do all of that. That will be coming very shortly after uh, we get back from our next photo shoot here in a couple weeks. 
So hope this helps. Thanks again for watching, and we're looking forward to seeing you on the next video.